Hey everyone, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are here doing the daily reading. I am not date stamping any of my daily reading as usual. To let the divine allow you receive these messages when it's time for you to receive. Energy can be flipped. Remember these are general readings. Cards can sometimes pick up energies of your loved ones and not directly yours. Keeping all of that in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. Let's just jump straight in. We are going to look into the challenge presented to you, the advice from the universe and the possible outcome. Wrap things up with a final message from the mystical wisdom oracle deck. The challenge presented today, please. The challenge presented is five of cups. Struck with grief, not able to get over some sadness, some, some pain. What's the advice? Advice, please. getting me to nostalgia the six of cups energy four five six all four of cups five of cups six of cups all these three are just flashing in front of me just dwelling over what happened why it happened what I could have done better what if could have, would have, should have. Yeah, that's what's going on. Nine of Wands. Four of Cups. I told you, right? Feeling that. The outcome popped up. Ten of Swords with the... Dang, look at that. Did I not say it? Four, five, six flashing in front of me. Let's clarify. Okay, this moved. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Feels quite heavy here. Let's go. Please. The Hermit. The Ace of Pentacles. Something that you wanted to start and didn't really work out the way you wanted it to. And now you are all stuck in this energy. Could have, should have, would have. All too much into your head. The advice, three of rods. Learn the lesson of whatever is lost, but do not miss this chance that the divine is still getting to you. Hold your ground. Your ships will be coming. There will be more chances in life. This is a setback, whether it's a setback in business or relationship this is a setback something new with potential that you started didn't turn out to be the way you wanted it to the advice is to not miss this look the divine is coming along if one door shuts it's not the end of everything the divine is showing you there's there's second chance coming along hold your ground keep that spark going keep your lights up again there are more chances coming your way maybe all you need is a different outlook 
a different perspective of looking at this whole scenario. The outcome is the Ten of Swords. No matter how painful it is, what you are going through right now, no matter how sad it makes you, you'll be able to drop that sadness, that pain. Ten of Swords. Tens are all about wrapping things up from nine to ten. And there's progression, four, five, six. So yeah. And there's a three as well. So three, four, five, six, nine, ten. We have the Empress. Yeah, the mother of all creation. Something new is going to come up. Don't worry about that. You're worrying too much of what's lost and not able to see what's coming in. And the advice from the universe is to not miss this opportunity. Whatever happened in the past, let bygones be bygones. Let the past not define your future. Let the past pains not fog your vision for future. You would be able to drop this painful baggage that you have. This is wrapping up. This is closing books. Along with that comes Empress. While you are doing that, stay compassionate to yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up for whatever this setback was because that's what you're doing right now. Know that Empress comes along with the energy of new seeds, planting new seeds, working through things. Anything she touches turns into gold. You'll be all right, don't worry, see? There'll be chances coming in. You'll be able to handle things. So, a different new outlook of looking at things through a new lens, a clearer lens is needed. Guidance message, please. Guidance message for the spread. Do let me know, people, if this resonates or not. Your comments are always welcome. Very much appreciated. Letting go. Learn to let go. Precisely. Precisely. Could there be a more apt wrap up for this? No, I don't think so. Learn to let go. Life is constantly changing. Nothing ever stays the same. People come and then they go. Some exit quietly without realizing it and some go with a loud bang. In the constant flow and changes of life, we get stuck in unhealthy habits unhappy relationships and unrewarding jobs, unrealized dreams and the like. You may have created an unhealthy attachment or bond to something or someone that no longer serves you in a positive way. You have the innate courage to acknowledge the situation and know that change is inevitable. Hello, hello. It also brings with it newfound freedom and spiritual growth. Man, I love this when spirit does this. Reconfirming everything that's said. Like, what a gist to get. The mantra here is, I am ready to free myself from situations that no longer serve me. I am ready to free myself from situations that no longer serve me. I am ready to free myself from situations 
that no longer serve me and so be it let go my dearies there's new things on the horizon i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods <laughs>